Well, here it is, the Radio Master Nexus. It's a new fly barless controller from Radio Master, along with the RP3H Express LRS receiver. A little bit closer look at the Nexus. As you can see, it's a all aluminum case. Very well built, very light. It has seven servo connections. Obviously the four servos, ESC, RPM input, and S bus, which can also be repurposed. It's got three UART ports, A, B, and C here. And also has a DSM port that can also be used for other stuff. The Nexus supports 5 to 12.6 volts input, so that means it supports all the new 3S ESCs and servos that have been coming out lately. And if you notice, port A says CRSF on it. And that's because the new RP3H comes with a cable to plug it directly in without having to do any soldering. Let's take a closer look at the RP3H. The RP3H supports 4 to 8.4 volts, which is pretty nice because this style receiver typically only accepts up to 5 volts. And just like the ER series, the EXT V port supports 4 to 35 volts. I've been running the Nexus and the RP3H in a few helicopters for a few months now, and everything's been performing flawlessly. I'm glad to see a company like Radio Master start making hardware for rotor flight, especially because I think this is the first FCC and CE certified hardware for rotor flight. I think that covers it. I just wanted to give a few close-ups of the new hardware. Um, I'm sure there's other videos with full specs. Of course, the Radio Master website will have all the information. Put together a couple clips of my M7 running the Nexus and an RP3H. Nothing fancy. Enjoy. Enjoy.